settle down. You have to speak now. All right. When I was 15 years old, Aerosmith taught me the importance of the almighty riff with songs like SOS, Round and Round, Sweet Emotion, all those great stuff. And they also taught me how to combine two guitar players to the greatest effect. When the live bootleg album came out, I noticed that there was a poster of the band and Stephen from the 1978 Day on the Green, which I went to. And uh, I told all my friends that I was actually able to see myself, or what I thought was myself, pictured in the crowd <laughs> on the actual poster. That picture never left my bedroom wall, and I still play some of those guitar licks that I got off songs like Train Kept a Rolling, Sweet Emotion, Walk This Way, Combination, Rats in the Cellar. And in that way, the Aerosmith legacy still resides in me. So I just want to thank you guys for all the inspiration. And uh, incidentally, I have to thank you, Stephen, for finding my cell phone about six months ago. <laughs> Uh, Stephen called the number marked mom and told her that he had my phone, and so... Oh, you one man. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, wow. This is not intimidating, is it? Uh, I haven't been out of the house much lately, so I'm a little nervous, but um, I wrote some of this down, so... Um, but it's, it's all from the heart. It's all from the heart. Um, there are a lot of people in this room tonight who are very fortunate and have a lot of means. I believe that when you're successful in your selfishness, you consider your time to be the most precious thing you have. I also believe that the biggest sacrifice you can make is giving people your time. In 1993, one of my best friends, Rich Birch, was dying of AIDS. Through all the years I was fortunate enough to know him, I always thought he epitomized rock and roll on a street level. His hero, the guy he worshipped, is the guy who epitomizes rock and roll on a performance level. That guy is Steven Tyler over there. When Rich's time was running out, I psyched myself up to call Stephen, who I'd met only a couple times on a casual level, to ask if he'd give Rich a call and rub some of that Steven Tyler magic off on him. Not only did Stephen make me feel at ease at calling him, but jumped headfirst into calling my friend Rich. Over the course of the next few weeks, Stephen spoke to Rich often, and Rich would call me and roar about how truly amazing it was to get so close to Steven Tyler during the last few weeks of his life. I know it made a difference to Rich, and for that, I'm extremely grateful to you for the time, the key word, time, that you spent with him. Your band's perseverance and accomplishments are inspirational to my band on a professional level, but giving your time for people like Rich is truly inspirational to me on a human level. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, hi. First time I, uh, well, since rehearsal, second time I've been on a stage since coming out of rehab and uh, <sighs> feel, uh, feel a bit nervous, but I feel this is uh, very fitting to come here and express some love to uh, what I would like to call friends in the music business um, who have inspired me greatly. Um, I, just, I would like to just close my eyes and, and imagine myself in my room um, as a teenager, listening to uh, Toys in the Attic and Rocks and playing the shit out of them uh, till the grooves were worn out, listening to every Brad and Joe lick toward the very end. I could sing every one of those things. I would turn them up so loud to get every last note that the next song would scare the out of me. Uh, especially little things like uh, before my favorite song, um, uh, Nobody's Fault. <clears throat> the uh, little, uh, someone walked into the studio and I heard a door or something. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> they didn't take that out. But anyway, um, uh, there was plenty of posters on my wall and the one, uh, the one that really meant a lot to me was the, the one of Steven and Joe up there singing into the same mic and uh, my mom, uh, God rest her soul, she was an artist and she, uh, she projected my image onto the wall and painted me as Stephen and as Joe. And 
in a silhouette and painted. It was so cool. It was in my room. And I just really couldn't decide which was cooler, so I decided to sing and play guitar in a band. <laughs> so, um, also, notes on my hand. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge the, uh, how much I admire you as humans in this, in this music business. It's really tough to stay human, and there's a lot of people that demand a lot of things from you. And all the hell that you guys have gone through and come through as stronger people are extremely inspirational to at least, especially myself, someone who has fallen, and I love you guys. Thank you.